Welcome to the channel, Capricorn. It's Robin here. Um, my channel is Aries Fire Tarot. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm going to be doing a star guide reading, you guys. This is a structured read where I pull six cards and every designation, de designated card, it represents one aspect of what is going on in your life right now. So I pair that star guide spread with the star man cards because it just feels like they were destined to be together. So I really hope that you enjoy the reading. Um, you could let me know down in the comments below what you think of the, the spread, the cards, the reading. You could also remember to like, share, and subscribe, you guys. It really helps me on the channel, um, and I really greatly appreciate it. So thanks for doing that. So just one thing to keep in mind as I'm shuffling away, I've been shuffling the entire time, is that this is going to be a general read. So I really hope that it resonates with you because you decided to stop and spend some time on my channel with me. Um, however, you know, the readings are based on collective energy, so it might resonate for you. I hope it does, but it might not. So just keep that in mind. Um, you know, I watched several different um, tarot card readers myself and not all of them resonate with me all the time so I'll just try back another time or you might just need a, per, um, a private reading so anyway guys I'm just gonna go on a quick pause and what I'll do is bring the camera down to the cards so you can see the reading unfold and I'll just be back real quick okay one sec I almost forgot to pr press play here the record would have gone through the whole reading without you guys and that would have been a pity so, okay, I'll start off the six card spread with the first card here. It's gonna be here, and this is going to represent your present situation. So let's see what's going on. So we have the nine of cups here, you guys. So um, this energy, you could be feeling it now, or it could be coming in for you shortly. The nine of cups is being like blessed with happiness, with joy. You know, your cup runneth over. You're so happy that it needs nine cups to contain your joy. This also represents having people in your life to share in your celebrations. I think I just need to adjust this light here so you guys can see the cards a little bit better. And that should be good. You could let me know what you think of the camera view too, you guys. You know, my son told me once, he said he really likes... Um, watching the cards come out. So I hope you guys do too. You could let me know, you could comment anything really. I'll respond to everybody too. So the second card is gonna be the cause of any conflict that you might be having, but it looks like things are going pretty well, especially with the colors here, just really bright and beautiful and like warm, right? Everything feels like really warm and joyful. And like I said, if you're not quite feeling this right now, you will be soon and the cause of conflict here is the King of Cups. So I just did one of the daily divine message readings the other day about um, the King of Cups. And it's kind of how, you know, you're out there doing your own thing, but people might not necessarily understand you. And they kind of maybe look at you as if you should be doing things their way or they just don't even know what what you're thinking um, and your job is not to worry about that you know um, the king of cups didn't get to be a king because he really put a lot of weight into what other people thought about what he was doing he's a very creative person it's like you could be going your own way and like creating your own path and that's fine and if people are kind of looking at you sideways about that that's got to be their problem, not yours, but it could be causing you some conflict because you're having to deal with it and sort of draining that energy that you could be putting towards better things like enjoying your life with the nine of cups. So the third card I'll put here, guys, is changes needed to, sorry, changes needed in order to face your current challenges. And I do quite a bit of shuffling, you guys, because it helps bring in messages from my spirit guides. So um, I hope it's not too annoying or anything like that, but oh, ready for the card here. So Ace of Pentacles, you guys. So it looks like there's going to be some money coming in for you guys. When we see the Ace of Pentacles, definitely related to material wealth, finance, um, 
you know, you could be getting, I'm seeing some of you getting a bursary actually, um, like a student loan, something coming in from a bank, some nice finance coming in here, and it's gonna probably make everybody that was doubting you, um, I got the word haters, you know, people kind of looking at you like, you know, it's really tough to be an individual and not follow the crowd. It's really looked upon um, like as not normal, but you're, you're definitely blazing your own trail here and it's going to pay off because you've got the Ace of Pentacles. So it's like sometimes it takes material wealth and success to um, convince everybody else, all your doubters that, you know, you have not in fact lost your mind. You have got the key to success, um, your success. And that's awesome. So um, card number four here, um, it's gonna be the strengths. So it's gonna represent what strengths you have going on. So I don't do reversals, you guys. Um, I literally get like words in my head um, from my spirit guides when I turn a card over. And I love this card coming out in, in your um, strength position, following the Ace of Pentacles in the changes that are gonna be coming up here because the King of Pentacles, and guys, you've got King Energy. Amazing. Um, this guy makes everything happen for himself. So you have a King here who does things probably a little bit unconventionally. You know, he could be a really, like, sort of artsy guy. You guys could have a, a little bit of, like, uh, why am I getting the term artsy-fartsy? Sorry. Um, you know what I'm saying? And just like to put your own little special like a little bit of a twist on things you know put your own flavor into it and the king of pentacles is all about making that pay off like big time big time big time money abundance just being like this is a really suave energy here with the king of pentacles like he just sort of romances his way into wealth like not taking advantage of anybody but um really just romancing the law of attraction and and just making everything work for him he's like really smooth and you've got this really uh, like just super like i i think of like who's the smoothest person you can think of like james bond let's say it's like you've got this really synchronistic energy going on man you guys you're definitely going to have the last laugh here if you've had finger pointers oh are they ever going to regret making fun of you so the fifth card is going to be any other changes or sorry guys challenges and you know what we've got the five of swords here so challenges are definitely other people you know, people are trying to definitely oppose you here. They're trying to like make you feel stupid or not worthy or making you really doubt yourself. You know, just really like not cool. Like this is not a supportive energy for you, but what I'm seeing over here is you're definitely not gonna let that stop you. I mean, look at this, look at the swagger in these kings, you know? This energy does not stop for anybody. You will not stop for anybody. It might challenge you, it might wear you down a little bit, but man, you're gonna have like oceans of cash flowing into you and everybody's gonna wanna be your friend all of a sudden. And that's not cool because they're the ones that would gladly stick a foot out right now and trip you up. Last card, guys, here's gonna be your outcome card. And the card I have for you is the Three of Swords. So the Three of Swords, it's, it really talks about having a little bit of a broken heart here. You can see, like this is the Tin Man, right? You ever see that movie, um, The Wizard of Oz, where the Tin Man's always look at, looking for his heart? Like This Three of Swords is so different from other decks. It's like you're just gonna find your heart. Everything's gonna fall into place for you. Um, I st you still have some questions going on here. I actually am seeing here that you might lose somebody really important to you um, because they lost faith in you. Um, and you tried to persuade them the whole time here that um, 
what you were doing was really going to pay off and it is hugely but it looks like there's going to be a bit of a personal cost not just putting up with like social media crap or people making fun of you or whatever even if it's good natured it's really not cool but i really see that you're going to lose somebody close to you um and it will be a little bit painful and you're not really going to understand it you see this question mark tile down here But you will have somebody new coming in for you. This could be a romantic partner. It could be somebody in your family. Um, if you're about to lose a romantic partner because of the path you're choosing, don't worry. You know, if they leave, it's because they're... Look, if you aren't for them, then they aren't for you. But if somebody is about to leave your life, somebody will be coming into it. Um, and they're going to be stronger fit for you. And sometimes, you know, sometimes you just, people in your family drop off, but they will come back. So don't worry about it. It's something that is going to be painful for a little while, but it will definitely clear up. And this is generally a six card reading, you guys, but somehow I'm being guided to pull a power of love card. So um, I always say yes to my spirit guides. So I'm just going to quickly pull a power of love. Because you have all this really strong energy of positivity, but it looks like you really are going to, somebody is going to leave your life. So I don't want to kind of leave on that note, um, sort of sad, but I, I see a little bit of heartbreak here. Um, so what I've got, oh, I had a card flip out. It says present. You live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances. So just a reminder that if somebody decides that they need to leave your life, you can let them go with love. It's okay. And what does this say? Forgiveness. So you can forgive that person too. You are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts. So just kind of remember that, guys. Like if somebody is going to leave your life as a result of a bit of a topsy-turvy, but you're going to come out on top, um, just remember that. Everything's going to be okay. You can let that person go with love because it's part of their journey. It's probably nothing personal. And, you know, they could come back and um, back around to you in time. And again, like I said before, if you're losing a love interest, somebody that is a better match for you will be coming in for you relatively soon. Okay. Wow. Okay. I felt like all that energy just kind of rushing through me, you guys. So I'm going to wrap up the video and thank you so much for being here, you guys. Take care. I'll see you back here next time. Love you guys a lot. Bye for now. Bye.